Hume's had a public art program for a long time. We've designed a two-stage project where we've gathered 10 artists or 10 creative people from across Hume and put them together with some public art mentors. The artists were commissioned to respond to the George Evans collection, which is a part of the Hume collection that sits here in Sunbury and contains a whole lot of memorabilia, artworks, important documents, reflections on different eras of life in Sunbury. So each of the artists have worked really closely with three of the volunteers from the collection and they've kindly made available the collection to the artists to respond to. I was sifting through photos from the George Evans Museum when I came across an image, controlled burning of the grasslands in the 90s. I've lived in Sunbury for over 40 years and had never once set foot in the grasslands. So I immediately rushed out to visit them and that's when my passion was ignited. Initially I was drawn to a photo in the collection that was of nurses and I went down the whole asylum route and it got quite negative. I went back to my original idea for the proposal to be part of this project, which was connecting the past with the present. So people from the past that were involved with building the community and focusing on women, because I just looked at even in the front foyer, where it's just a wall of men and a couple of women. I decided to do my art project on the nook. It resonated with me because I usually paint a lot of wildlife and the nook with its beauty, community and environmental importance took my passion. Water as a life source to the surrounding environment where once you could witness fish swim to the surface of the creeks and see the water flow patterns from the wind. A three-dimensional contemporary sculpture water drop surrounded by water ripples. Throw a stone in the nook see the water patterns form around the stone. This is a bit of a pioneer project for us, the Sunbury Cultural Commissions. Traditionally each new building has a budget attached to it, a percent for art, and often that goes to a big public commission, often to an artist outside of Hume. So we wanted to change that a bit this time and give some artists that live within Hume a chance to go for that bigger public project. My project is about cultural connection and deep history. Aboriginal culture and history is always at the forefront of everything that I do. But I've always had it in mind that I'm a visitor to this place. I don't come from here. And I wondered what had happened to the traditional owners from this area. Simon has elected to focus on reflections in time for this artwork. Simon felt it important to use a mirror representative of him and in, in its shape and its form. This artwork is intended to put Simon out amongst the community and the gallery, aiming to break down barriers, reach validation and shine. So I've been looking at the Sunbury Rock Festivals that happened in the 70s. I would like to use the festivals as a way to sort of shape shift and go on a journey through Sunbury. Um, I've been particularly interested in the arrival of these thousands of sort of freedom time, people kind of inundating the locals. So I'm mean, mainly looking at the arrival of all these people. We're really excited that it's a new way of doing things and uh, stage two of the project, which will be the bigger public commission, that'll be launched when the building launches in September. At that stage, our 10 artists will have an opportunity to go for that bigger commission, either together or on their own. What I've done is a historical piece on the history of the Summary Asylum extracting case files, photos and little pieces from the case files themselves. The idea is it's supposed to be a fragment of a fragment of a record. Then it was a matter of connecting the most striking images with the best stories and deciding ethically what you can and cannot tell. The artwork that I'll be making for the exhibition will comprise three garments using the pattern of the asylum dresses my research consisting of layers of material, so photographs and text will be physically put onto these garments through processes of printing, photocopying, collage, so mixed media. My idea for Common Project is about reflection on time, because museum, that's the place where we witness the time. So from the museum collection, I've chosen this stone I see the stone as representation of time 
and us people. Sunbury is a little bit different from other areas in Hume. On this really interesting cusp between country and city, it's sort of a neat place to shake things up a bit and do things differently. But there's also a really strong creative tradition and heritage tradition here in the community that we wanted to honour. It's kind of a bridging project that we hope might create other ways of opening up future public art commissions in Hume in making them a bit more integrated with community.